Hey everyone, it's Melanie and I just wanted to share with you a couple of projects that I've been working on. Um, before I do, I just wanted to say thanks uh, for all the well wishes um, uh, regarding my back. Um, it is much better. The pain is just about gone. Um, I have numbness still in my left leg uh, from some pressure on my sciatic nerve, but otherwise I'm doing much better. So thank you very, very much for the, uh, for the kind words. I really, really appreciate it. Um, okay, so let me just share with you a project that I worked on tonight. Um, I put this card together. Um, I showed before that I had colored uh, this little uh, Cafe Ian and uh, that I was going to work on a project for him soon. So this was what I came up with. Um, I just used some uh, craft card stock here and then layered this ledger paper on it. Um, I wanted to bring out some more of these blues, so I used that striped paper. I had shown this, again, a, a scrap that I had of that striped paper, and I ended up just using a little bit of it. I uh, added it to the edge, using my scallop punch to uh, punch a border here on the end. And then um, used some textured uh, red cardstock that I had to, again, bring out the red. Um, when I laid down the... Um, the uh, ledger paper, I used uh, this stamp from Stampin' Up! and some Riding Hood Red Ink and just uh, added a little more color to the background here. Um, again, just because I, I kind of wanted to highlight that red mug. And like I mentioned in the last video, after I colored him with uh, my Copic markers, I added some glossy accents on the mug just to make it a little bit more shiny so it kind of looks like he's holding a ceramic mug. Um, so once I um, attached all of my little pieces here. I then used my mat pack from Stampin' Up! and my paper piercer and I just uh, punched or poked these little holes down the length of the card and then used some white uh, embroidery floss to uh, cross stitch um, along the border here and I think it gave it a really nice effect. I was really pleased with how it turned out. Um, the, the sentiment here, the You're My Cup of Tea sentiment, is from uh, this stamp set from Scrappy Moms. I've used this before in a couple other of my um, cards. But uh, yeah, this is a really, really cute stamp set. This is the Sweet Something set from Scrappy Moms. So um, so that's this card. And and then I wanted to share with this with you. My daughter made this for me the other day when I was working at my table. She uh, she got a piece of paper and some um, markers. And then she, she came up to me and she said, Mama, Mama, I have something for you. And... Uh, and then she kind of pulled this out from behind her back. So this little this little face has been hanging out with me on my table uh, for the last few days. Um, so other projects that I've been working on, um, I put this one together. I'm, I'm not thrilled with it. I don't think it quite turned out how I was hoping it would. Um, I wanted to try out this um, background stamp set that I have from Lawn Fawn, which is really adorable. Uh, and I really like the stars. So I tried it out. Um, I love the effect it gives. I basically stamped it with um, embossing ink and then just used some clear embossing powder. Um, and I liked it. I just think that the colors were probably a little too um, stark for what I was kind of aiming for. But the background paper is from Basic Ray. And then I just used some cardstock again. I used my scallop border punch. Um, I had this chipboard star from an old uh, chipboard set from um, Stampin' Up. And I used um, the... Um, Magical Micas uh, from Lindy Stamp Gang to uh, to paint onto this uh, star to give it some shine. The uh, banner and the um, letters are also from Lawn Fawn. Um, it's Bannerific and uh, um, Harold's ABCs. Oh, sorry, there's my kitty cat coming for a visit. So I I may end up taking this apart and using elements of it in a different. Um, in a different card because I liked what I was doing here. I just I think I may try this in a different color scheme. So, but anyway, I wanted to share with you with uh, what I what I had done. And my kitty, it just she needs to. Sorry, I'm gonna bring put her down. Okay, come on, come on, noodle. All right. So um, and then the last thing that I was working on, I was practicing some of my Copic coloring with um, some of these new CC design stamps that I had gotten. I showed this to you in the last video. So this is Country Girl. And um, I, um, I actually decided to try paper piecing with her. So I paper pieced her hair and her bows and her dress. And then I used my Copics for her face and for her leggings and for her shoes. So again, I was really happy with how she turned out. Uh, it was a lot of fun to put her together. I just used scraps that I had in my stash 
um, you know, because you only need little bits of paper, so you know you don't have to use a whole sheet of paper for these little for these little guys. So that was a lot of fun to practice. And then I went ahead and uh, tried out the fence um, and colored that in. And um, haven't gotten it to a card yet, but uh, I wanted to share with you what I've done here with this so far. So the idea is that I will um, put this on a card and then pop her up so she's a little bit um, more dimensional against this card. So that's that. Um, what else? Well, oh, so here's the sheet that I've been working on. I kind of stamped all of those new stamps that I got and just tried a little coloring with them. You know, got a little crazy with Friday. And uh, and then this is, um, what was it, Emma? Emma, I believe it is. It's spring Emma. Okay. And then last thing, just as a little, you know, heads up and a little warning. So... I have my pink ATG gun, right? So many of us have this, but you will see that it is missing the front of it. And you, you see that there? I dropped this. I was putting it into my little caddy that I have here on my desk, which, sorry, it's really, really messy, but basically right there. Um, and I was putting it in, and it fell off, and it landed on the floor, and it broke off the applicator. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a replacement for this. And you can see it's metal. It's not like it's a plastic piece. It just snapped right off. So I don't know if I'll be able to get a replacement piece um, and if it's going to be worthwhile or if I just need to get a new ATG gun. But yeah, I was really bummed that uh, I broke this. So yeah, so just heads up, fair warning. If it tips, it is top heavy, so it will land this way. So just heads up. And I have a wooden floor in here, so it didn't land on a carpeted floor, unfortunately. So, all right. So anyway, there's, um, there's my goodies. Um, hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you guys soon and, uh, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.